Nathan's editing too here. Of course, you know me as Brian. Um, I have a foggy memory and I went exactly I left my last left my last video up on YouTube. So so here's what's up. Um, I've watched a bunch of movies um, over the past, I don't know, a few weeks or month or whatever. I'm going to discuss ones that I took out of the library. There's another film I took out of the library um, that I haven't watched yet. Um, but it it um, it um, is designed for a single review itself because um, it's this group that I that I follow on YouTube. Um, I haven't watched them recently, but the, the Grumpy Gentlemen on Film—that's their channel name—and um, each month they. One of the members of the, of the um, Grumpy Gentlemen, there's six of them. One of them chooses a movie to watch. I was going to watch Alien 3, I don't think so anymore. But um, So one of them chose, I think it was Jay, chose uh, Pale Rider. I took it out of the library, I haven't watched it yet. But um, I'm planning on watching that next. Anyways, uh, let's get to the video at hand. Um, these are movies that I took out of the library. Um, I also watched other movies before this of my own collection. Um, I've deliberated whether or not to take those that I watched previously <clears throat> along with these that I've watched from the library into one video. I'm thinking on it just within the last few minutes, I would say. I think it'd be better if I separate them so that it's more salvageable, more digestible, because I don't know if people want to watch a really long video. Um, I don't know how long this video will go, but I know it'll be maybe twice as long if I just put movies that I've watched from my collection. Um, and I, I don't, I can't, I'm trying to recall all the ones I've watched uh, before I watched the ones I took out of the library. Um, I think I have them stacked up in certain areas so that jogs my memory a little bit and makes me remember what I watched. In any case, let's get to these video let's get to these movies. Um, I'm gonna try something new here. Um, what I usually do, this is the first one, Knives Out. What I usually do, if I have the movie, I, I show this and then I talk about it. Um, if I don't have the movie, um, like if I watched it off a streaming source, um, you'll see a picture like here um, that I'll take off of Google Images and I'll insert into the um, um, the the uh, frame uh, while the video is going on. Um, but I think I'm going to try something. I'm going to try this out. Give me your feedback on this. What I'm going to do is, while I'm showing like Knives Out, for example, I'm going to show clips from the movie, but I'm not going to show actual video, video clips, you know, not, not, not movie clips, but like photos from the film. And I got this idea from, from Sasha. Um, his channel name is Sexy Monkey. And um, he did a review of Mo Better Blues by Spike Lee. And I thought it was a really interesting way that he went about reviewing the movie. Um, anyways, I, I thought maybe I'll try that out. Tell me what you think. Anyways, um, so that that means if I decide to go that route, that a video that I'm shooting right now on the 7th of September on Labor Day, it might be, I don't know, seven days later that it gets done or 14. I don't know. Because if I add pictures, it's going to take a longer amount of time to um, get all of that um, processed, you know, all of it inserted into the clips and all that stuff. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but I think I might try and do it. So anyways, let's, let's talk about the movies. The first one's Knives Out. Um, it stars uh, Christopher Plummer. Um, What's her name? Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. 
Um, you can't see these. That's uh, Tony Collette, Don Johnson, Michael Shannon. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he was in um, uh, Sorry to Bother You. Um, uh, Chris Evans, I think he plays Captain, Captain America. Um, the main character in the movie... Um, I don't know if she's an unknown or a lesser known actor. And then, of course, you have Daniel Craig, you know, James Bond. Anyways, so this story, um, so uh, this story revolves around Christopher Plummer's character. He's a writer, very successful writer. Um, he's, um, all, all, all his family basically just wants to inherit his wealth and he's about 85 years old um, and he has a nurse that takes care of him and she, um, she, she gives him her shots gives him his shots rather um, that he's supposed to have every day and she finds out that um, the veals, the vials, or whatever. Um, she's, she gave him the wrong um, shot, and it will kill him. Um, and um, he says, that's okay, I'm ready to face death. And uh, he tells her what to do so, so she can have an alibi, so she's, so she's cleared from uh, murdering her patient. Um, but she's, she's kind of re resisting. She tries to call 911 and he puts um, his finger down on the, um, uh, on the phone, you know, before she can call. And then um, she goes, she comes back she, just before she goes down the stairs and closes the, just as she closes the door, she decides to go back in the room and he slits his throat right in front of her. Um, and then it revolves around, uh, the, the rest of the story revolves around <coughs> who, who might have, um, whether there was foul play and um, whether she was the cause of the, all, this pro all these problems or there's, it wasn't quite what it seemed. So I'll leave it at that, I guess. Um, how many stars would I give this movie? You know, I really liked it when I watched it, but um, maybe, in, in looking back a bit, maybe I'll, maybe I draw it back a little bit. Um, I'm going to give it out of five stars. I'm going to give it three and a half, I think. Three and a half stars. So that's Knives Out. Next up, Terminator, um, Dark, Dark Fate. Dark Fate, yes. Uh, we have... Arnold Schwarzenegger making his reappearance as the Terminator. We have uh, Linda Hamilton making a reappearance as Sarah Connor, and um, two other uh, actresses. Um, for me, it was kind of entertaining, but we've seen this before. Um, we're just—it's just milking the Terminator franchise. Um, I, I'm. Kind of sick of it, um, you know, seeing it over and over again. I guess I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I didn't like Terminator. I liked the first two Terminators. Uh, ter first Terminator, good acting, good good uh, dialogue. The second one, a terrible dialogue, terrible acting, but it was one of the best action movies and special effects movies I've ever, ever seen, and st still does stay strong on that today. Um, Terminator 3 was a complete boss. Terminator Genesis, I think, was the fourth one. I thought that was not too bad. I, I thought it was pretty good, but most people, I think, trash on that one. And that, then there was a Sarah Connor Chronicles, I think it was called, on Fox Television, uh, which are just doing to milk the Terminator franchise is basically what they're doing. And this this film is basically milking the franchise. Basically, that's why that's the way I view it. 
um, you have basically another T1000, you know, just the shape-shifting Terminator kind of thing, with just a little more advanced than the previous Terminator 2 movie from the early 90s. So, you know, um, it, it, it's, of course, not going to follow the same conventions as the original Terminator 2 because it's, it's been a few decades now. But, you know, if the T-1000 came to 2020 now to, to look for John, John Connor or whomever, he would just work with what, well, it's not he, it's the machine or robot would just think out the same scenario uh, just like you would in the 90s, you know, just the same kind of pattern, you, you know. So it's just, it just seems like a throwaway movie. Like, why did you have to make this movie, you know? Um, it's kind of entertaining, though, so I'm going to give it a passable three stars. Okay, next up is a two-part film. Um, this was originally, before this, adapted as a TV miniseries. Um, it's based on a Stephen King book. It's It. This was part one right here. Um, part one, I, I get kind of pissed off watching it because the, um, the, the disc, I guess, was scratched. And uh, some of the key scenes, well, like the key scene at the start where Georgie goes to get his paper boat out of the uh, sewer grate and uh, Pennywise appears. What happens to him then was take was um, scratched out. I, I, I missed that that footage because um, it jumped. It was it was a scratch on the, in the on the disc, so I never saw what happened. I know what happens because I've seen it on the uh, YouTube, and I've seen it on the TV series. Um, I'm going to say something that maybe some people don't agree with, but I think Tim Curry was a better Pennywise than, um, I think it's Bill Skarsgård. And my justification for that, or opinion, or whatever you want to say, is because... Pennywise, well, he doesn't look, uh, I mean, Tim Curry, maybe he doesn't look totally innocent or playful, but, um, what's his name, uh, Bill, um, I just knew his name and I forgot it, um, well, whatever his name is, the guy, the guy knew it, the new Pennywise, um, he has like menacing kind of look to his face, and I don't know how a little kid or a, a kid or a teenager or whomever would find that would, would let's say if you're hiring a clown for your, your children's birthday party, would you really hire a clown that looks like that? I mean, most clowns, if you look at them at family, you know, at um, birthday parties or you know, uh, entertain, uh, amusement, rot, amusement parks, they don't look like that, you know? So I, I can't buy into that. But it was kind of entertaining. The special effects are pretty cool. I, I can't buy into the whole thing. At, at the end, it's kind of crazy, and I, I just couldn't get it. I, I just couldn't buy into what Pennywise exactly shapes just as. I couldn't buy into all that. I, I, I didn't like the book a lot. I, um, I don't know. I thought it was okay, I guess. I tried to convince myself that I liked it at the time. Um, at the time that I read the book, I read about, in the late 80s, I'd read about three quarters of Stephen King's books. Um, and I haven't read them since. Um, I, I sort of think they're junk food literature. They're not like reading Dostoevsky or Nietzsche or Camus, or um, uh, Kafka, or um, who else, uh, Tolstoy, Turgenev, you know, um, the Bronte sisters, Margaret Atwood, George Orwell, um, 
that's the kind of stuff I like to read. And uh, I don't think it matched. I don't know. Maybe I should give Stephen King another chance because people people say he's a good writer. I don't know what to think. But anyways, I think. Um, I mean, the TV series, mini, the, the mini series of, of, of it back in, I think it was the late 80s or early 90s. Um, maybe the acting of the adults is better in this film. The kids are not too bad, too. But maybe one of the big um, criticisms I have of this new it is the Bill Skarsgård character. That's his name. Um, the Pennywise. It looks just too menacing to be um, a clown that's um, mean. Um, he just looks too menacing, and I, I, um, I think little kids, if they find clowns scary, they're not finding them scary because they're, you know, the mouth is like up like that, and the brows are like this. You know, it's just a, you know, adult would think nothing of it, you know. So, anyways, that's it. I don't really have to get into too much discussion about either of these parts. Um, oops. Yeah, so that's number one. It number two. And so, I, so watching those movies, I guess... Oh, I don't know. I give it a passable three. And then to end it off, we've got from Disney, Moana? Moana? Moana. Moana? 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 Moana. Moana. Um, which is situated in uh, the Pacific Islands. It's not really um, declared as to which um, tribe or uh, group of people that Moana lives with and what island she lives in in the Pacific. But the, um, she, try, she goes out to find a character named uh, Maui. And of course you've heard of that. Well, probably everyone knows, has heard the name Maui because it's, I think, the name of one of the Hawaiian islands. And the character of Maui is played by Dwayne, Je Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You know, he started off as a wrestler, and now he's been, do you know, been in several movies. Um, the music I found really delightful. The animation was incredible to look at. Um, I really like this film a lot. Um, I think it's, it's really good for kids. <clears throat> but it's not just good for kids. It's good for older kids, teenagers, adults. Um, I, I think anyone can really like this movie. Um, and lots of drama and beautiful special effects, be beautiful um, animation, you know, renderings of, of uh, human beings and, and um, animals and um, landscapes, you know, um, and it's the sea. Um, just beautiful score. Uh, I can't... I, um, Anyways, she's told by her father, Moana's told by her father not to leave the island, that she's going to be the leader of the island after he passes away. I guess that's the plot. Uh, and she finds out that um, her father tried to leave the island one time to fish, and he, he um, maybe his co-boat guy got killed in the, in the sea. So he's sort of uh, dissuading or not persuading Moana to go past the reef of the island. But she does anyways. You know, that's that's the story of all these kinds of movies, you know, like Little Mermaid, you know, like, um, I think um, it's the King Triton, her father, tells her, you know, don't, I haven't seen that in a while, but, um, you know, don't go past this area or Finding Nemo, you know, don't go past this area or, you know, like you're, like, Something will happen to you, like your like like happened with your other children, your other brothers and sisters, and your mother. You know that um, what's that character's name um, that Albert Brook plays? Um, Marlon, Marlon, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I, I love, I really like this movie. Um, 
I'm going to give it um, four stars. Okay, that's it. I think that I think that sells. I think that does it for this video. I don't want to go on too long. I think I might be um, might become a bit tiresome, tiresome, and um, monotonous. I don't know. But that's enough. Um, I'm going to try this. I'm going to. I think I'm going to try this new format. Where I'm going to put pictures on as I'm talking. So um, tell me what you think if I do do that. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.